guys welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing an isolating glute banded workout if you're new to my channel make sure you click that subscribe button to join the family and follow me on my socials because i do post more outside of youtube okay you guys so with this whole virus going on i beg we are trying to get our summer bodies and still get gains okay i have uh obviously with the whole virus thing i haven't really been working out all week and stuff so but the, we, we're pumping out content okay we're working out at home getting ready okay so no excuses i don't want to hear any excuses from you guys working out at home i know you some of you will be like oh well it's not the same obviously it's not the same but it's still better than nothing okay so anyways let's get straight into this workout now the first things first is as i showed you guys before in this make sure your feet when you're doing the um, abductors make sure that your feet are going out with you not just um, like your legs going out if you um, go forward a little bit to the front it will show I'm showing you guys how to probably do it other than um, like bending your ankles Also, you guys, throughout this whole video, I know you guys will probably have different variations or levels of bands. Honestly, if you have a really heavy band, please use the heavy band. I do sell bands on my website, so if you guys are looking for bands, you can click on my website and check them out. Yeah, so definitely try to push yourself to use a heavy band and throughout this whole exercise you want to make sure that you're squeezing your glutes engaging them focusing on your mind to muscle connection because you know we're gonna have to pick up the stack because we can't go to the gym right now so you gotta make sure that you're causing a lot of tension and making sure that your muscles are able to uh what's the word to be able to tear up and grow together back again okay because we're trying to get gains and like i said honestly it's better than nothing so yeah um the same thing we're gonna do a uh, hip thrust now the one before you were gonna um curve your legs together so when you do those um i would recommend you bring your legs a little bit closer because then you'll feel it more into your glutes than your hamstrings as this video is an isolating glute workout so our main focus is hitting our glutes rather than our hamstrings or in our quads etc as you can see i am holding on to um i call them hookies so if you have these on your shoes definitely use them try to get your hand to your heel as close as possible so also when you're doing these hip thrusts i always find that when i lift my toes up too it helps target my glutes way more also you guys i want to say that this month is definitely going to be a month mentally challenging and i just want to let you guys know honestly like some people it's honestly pissing me off that some people are like oh well my summer body's postponed till 2021 like girl no first of all you're being hella lazy i don't know about you guys but me i am spending my my 2020 still hopefully if this virus goes away i am being prepared still making sure my summer body is ready to go because when when that virus pass and some of y'all do i'm not even gonna go there but all i have to say is honestly just push yourself some form of physical activity is better than nothing i know like i said before some people are gonna be like well the gym is not the same yes i know the gym is not the same obviously but at this point you got to do what you got to do and really depends on how bad you want it so like i said you're either gonna get it in or you're not period poo okay so this exercise you're really gonna feel it in the sides of your glutes now when you do these definitely don't point your toes see how my foot is kind of um leveled like that also try your best not to swing your body see how i'm swinging my because I, I was it really burns okay so definitely try not to swing your body too much and then you're gonna superset five sets um with your feet together that one is also a really hard um version so honestly if you guys want that extra challenge do the one with your legs together as a, the superset one but do 10 reps of it that you'll really really feel the burn A 
another tip throughout this whole exercise everything that you guys do make sure um, it helps when you let's say for example if I go out here hold for three seconds for a good three seconds and squeeze your glutes that will really really help engaging your muscle and when you squeeze it's also going to just focus on your mind's muscle energy I always 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 say this okay you're definitely gonna huge a hu you're gonna feel a huge difference when you're done and you're gonna feel a great pump as well so like I said you're gonna feel great after this workout definitely comment down below if you guys like these exercises so far and which one's your favorite okay and those that know what I'm talking about when it comes to the three second hold burn okay so next we have uh, donkey kickbacks now honestly I don't usually do donkey kickbacks just because I'm also a type of person that I find it more in my hamstrings but everybody's um, body is different it depends on how your height how tall you are and stuff like that so there's different variations that you can do this so you can try um, laying down and doing it you can try pointing your toes you can try um, keeping your heels up um, so definitely I would recommend everybody try different variations of it and see what works best for you just to make sure that it targets just your glutes if it's targeting your hamstrings unless you don't want it to target your hamstrings then do something different just to make sure that it targets your glutes I always tell people as well that every like I said everybody's body is different and something that will work for somebody else won't work for you and part of your fitness journey is definitely trying things a lot of things is trial and error so you're definitely gonna have to try things and uh, what works best for your body okay and don't, yeah, like I said, don't forget to squeeze. Also, I would say looking back at myself doing the straight leg one, I don't know why, but my legs were bent. If you're doing, when you're doing these, make sure your legs are straight, okay? I don't, I honestly don't know why. In my head, I thought my legs were straight, but it's so weird looking back at myself. But definitely try to um, keep your legs straight when you're doing these and squeeze through all the way around when you get to the top. And also, you guys, when you're doing this whole workout, don't be scared to do things slow and controlled. Some of you um, always say you don't feel it or... You're not seeing results and stuff like that. Like I said in my past videos, not everything needs to be fast and stuff like that. Definitely slow and controlled. Focusing on mind to muscle connection. I literally always say this in literally every freaking video, okay? Just take your time. Squeeze. You're working out in your house, okay? Your house is not going anywhere. Your house doesn't have a hours of operation. So I beg, just take your time and do these, okay? Okay, so... Honestly, these are very like a funny thing and I wasn't even gonna I, I was really debating whether I should include this or not But it's actually funny to me I don't know if you comment down below if you guys just be sitting on your bed and just randomly squeeze your butt like I don't know <laughs> It's really weird, but I really want you guys to try this comment down below if you feel this okay, so when you do these, make sure your legs are spread apart a little bit and then you're going to squeeze and bring your legs up. You're really going to feel it in your glutes, like I said. Comment down below if you guys do feel it, what you think about this exercise. And yeah, I'm really curious to know what you guys feel about this one. Okay, so lastly, this is going to be the burnout exercise. Now, this is the last killer exercise. This one, you will definitely feel it. You can do how I'm doing where having a light and a medium. So the medium is at the top and then the light is at the bottom. Or you can do just an overall heavy or medium one band. Regardless, walking back and forth, you're really going to feel this. I don't know why I was bending, but when you're doing these, make sure you're standing up straight, okay? And when you 
um, walk side to side make sure all the weight is going on your heels not on your toes because when you put on your heels you're gonna feel it more in your hamstrings and your glutes which is what you want versus if you're gonna put your weight onto your toes then you're gonna feel it more in your quads but yeah anyways that is pretty much it for this video you guys I really hope you guys enjoyed it I am going to be posting more at home workouts and please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to my channel it really helps me out a lot and I hope to see you guys in my next video.